Hi, this is Richard Price from A1 CRM and this is another video in our series on using Zoho remotely. Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you a couple of quick things with Zoho Click. Zoho Click is the equivalent of Slack um, and a combination of apps from Microsoft like Team and Link etc. Um, so this system is designed for you to be able to see all your communication channels all in one place. Emails, chats, text, phone calls, videos etc. All of it you can actually manage and run from here. The other thing is, is that if you're using applications like Mail, Desk and CRM in the Zoho ecosystem, Zoho Click is actually embedded at the very bottom of all of those screens as default. So you can chat between colleagues within your organisation and you've got the ability to add external users, whether they be Zoho users or not. Okay, so the, uh, this is a, a couple of things that we can do. So for a start, I've already got a contact, um, a colleague of mine, Richard Tech Brothers, and I can chat with that person. Hi there. Okay. Now, if I look at... Richard's computer, I can see that the message has come through there. Hi. And you can see that there. So that's the first thing that you can do. Second thing, very easy to um, uh, drop a document to them by just simply dragging and dropping onto here and go share and I can see it appear on the other end. Once again you've got it tracked all in one thread, one conversation. But this is where the magic comes in. What you can do is you can do a voice call or a video call or a screen share. You can initiate them at in, in any order and then you can navigate to the others. So I'm going to do a video call. Okay, I've muted the, um, uh, the sound so that we don't get feedback. But you can see now on the other computer and I'm just going to accept that call. Now you can actually do this on your phone as well as on your computer. So you see me there and you see me there. We can increase this so that you can see it full screen. So that is the other person's computer that I'm seeing the camera of. And I can see over there. Okay, other things that we can do. We can then have the chat window open at the same time so that you can put messages um, in there. I like doing this if, for example, I've got to send somebody a link or um, do some other information. I can just go paste and it appears on the other person's computer. So you can do all these um, types of things. Now, you, as I said, you can mute, you can turn off the camera. Okay, so now they don't see anything. So if you've got internet um, um, issues, then one of the uh, things that you can do is just simply mute the camera. And you can continue with voice. Okay, 
I'm going to switch the camera back on so I can see that it's now working. If I want to check myself, I can uh, swap the camera view on my computer. This is actually my camera and I can switch it back. Another important thing that you can do is, of course, share your screen. So if you just go to the three little dots here for more information, and go start screen share, it'll ask you whether you want it in the particular application or entire screen. I tend to use entire screen most of the time, and you can go into here. Now if I then look on the other computer, and I'm just going to put this into full page view, let me go to something like this. So now you can see I'm sharing my computer screen with the other person. You can still see the videos down here, okay? So you can swap between the views, you can swap between this view and that view. Okay, so that's you, that's the other person, and you've got this here. Okay, so you can do sharing. Now, if you want to swap, um, and for this particular person to share this screen with the others, then all you need to do is just go stop sharing, and then on the other person's computer, and then you just go down to here and you go sharing, select that screen, go like that, and then you can go and you can see this here, and if I go and I increase this screen on the other side, I can see that there. So you can see that um, how you can share and swap screens. And utilize that particular feature. So this is one on one. I just wanted to keep this rather short. So I'm going to end it here and I'm going to add some other things like group video chatting and how you add other users into your chats. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop us a line, support at a1crm.co.nz. I'm Richard Price. Thanks for watching and keep safe.